What's going on everybody? Today I am installing a uh, mat cover for my center console here. If you drive a Tesla or if you've been in a Model 3, you know that this center console is very fingerprint prone and it's very shiny and just attracts a lot of dust and stuff. So I'm planning on wrapping that with a matte, matte black wrap from Abstract Ocean. They actually sent me this right when I got my car and just have never installed it. Uh, so today is finally the day, uh, almost six months later, I'm getting this thing installed. So uh, I was planning on having my camera mounted back here on this tripod, but I actually have to have this uh, center console area lifted up. So I'm not going to be able to mount my camera in a very good spot. So I'm trying to figure that out now. So this whole center console area, this is what I'm planning on wrapping today. And I was going to have my camera mounted up there, but that's not going to work. So this part needs to be lifted up while I'm doing it and when I do that it lifts my camera up so I'm gonna see if there's a way so I'm gonna see if there's a way I can maybe mount my camera in the driver's seat here so you guys can get a better view of what I'm working on all right so we're over in the passenger seat here I'm gonna start off by just kind of wiping this down I've got some some microfiber cloths here as you can see this just gets super dusty and I need to cover it up with something plus this is the only like shiny black material in the car. Just about everything else is this kind of matte like leather color. And I want to try to eliminate as much of this as I can. So I'm going to start with this cup holder piece. That's what they mentioned to do on their video. Yeah, so they can't they sent this in the package with it and if you scan this with your phone, this brings you to the tutorial video of how to install all this. So I've already watched that. Uh, but basically they say to start with the cup holder, move to the middle panel, the top panel. Then they give you some more uh, pieces for some of the smaller parts, which I may or may not install because those are uh, those are kind of out of view and I don't have a very steady hand. So <laughs> just doing these bigger pieces is going to be a little tougher. Yeah, so they send everything all in separate pieces too, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this cup holder piece here. So that's piece number one there. Let's slide that back in there. Another thing they mentioned is make sure your car is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool day right now. It's about 50 degrees outside. That just kind of helps the, the adhesive stick a little bit better. So this needs to go basically right here, but luckily they give you these cup holder cutouts. So that I'll kind of line that up with the cup holder here. God, this is terrible. Okay, so one, thing's, one thing I've noticed after doing that about four times is there's actually a little lip on the side of here where this, this skin can kind of tuck up underneath. 
So the edges don't have to be perfectly right. You can kind of correct them after you've done it there. So I'm just kind of going through and making sure that it's it's lined up as straight as it can go before I I press hard on these these cup holders here. Well, after a lot of struggle, that actually doesn't look half bad. All right, going on the next piece now. is done all right so my camera died i'm not sure when it actually died but i've got the first two pieces completed here uh took a lot of work but here's the what they're looking like right now so they actually look really nice only thing i've noticed is there's a couple scratches on the piece i'm hoping when the sunlight kind of starts hitting them they'll they'll start to look a little bit better and cure up a little bit uh but now i have this last piece to do if we fold that down this piece is going to be tough because I've got I've got to get up underneath there, and that'll be that'll be tough to reach. So this will be interesting. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to start from the bottom on this one. I know I've kind of done a different thing with all of them, but it seems like it'll work the best here. Nice. All right. So pretty much got it finished. It's looking pretty good. Only thing I really messed up was down in here. See kind of on the edge there, I the uh, installation, a little, the, little bit of the adhesive kind of got stuck to the edge. I kind of had to force that down. You see there's like a small imperfection in the middle there. Probably get some goo gone and just kind of wipe that off just so it's not uh, not as unsightly. So the only piece I have left now, which you probably saw me remove, was this little black plastic piece. This slides onto here. Um, this, I, I typically have it in this orientation, so this does show a little bit. So I'm going to actually go inside and just wrap this individually instead of trying to do it while it's in the car. Make that a little bit easier. actually looks pretty good so the only pieces I have left are this piece which I believe goes in the honestly don't know where that goes and this piece goes all the way up into here and nobody ever sees that unless you're really looking for it so I'm not gonna install that that honestly seems like more of a pain than I want to deal with right now I'm not sure where these guys go though I'll probably put that somewhere uh, at the end of the video but overall, I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, as you can see, 
If I touch it a bunch, I'm not gonna get fingerprints and this probably won't collect as much dust as that glossy black does. I honestly think I did a terrible job installing this. I don't think I was very precise at all and this still turned out really well. It actually looks really nice. I wish I was a little more steady handed, could do a better job, but unless somebody is really like trying to nitpick your work here, I think this turns out really well. Um, definitely something I would recommend if you don't like the glossy black in your interior. Uh, again, I got this from Abstract Ocean, all of that product linked down below. This isn't a sponsored video. This is just something that they sent me. Uh, and I just have never installed and finally got the chance to this weekend. So uh, if you want to see more tutorials slash uh, me struggling to install things in my car, definitely hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more of those. Uh, with that being said, let me know what you think of the uh, before and after here. Do you like the gloss black or do you like this matte black better? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. So I just hopped in the back seat so I could get some B-roll of this uh, center console wrap I just installed and I figured out where that little uh, USB piece goes. Uh, these are already kind of a more matte color. They're not as uh, glossy as up front was. Uh, so I probably won't be installing those. Honestly, that looks pretty clean how it is right now. I'm not sure if the older versions of the uh, Model 3 had a more glossy USB part right here. I've got a 2020 model, so that might be why it looks like that.